Hi, thanks for watching. Today I want to tie my favorite caddis dry fly for you guys. And I've got a special hook in the vise actually, and I'll, I'll take the back right here and show you. Um, it's the uh, Daiichi 1220 in a size 14. That's a Daryl Martin's dry fly hook. And what's so special about it is that the first part from the bend on is straight and then it goes up at an angle. And this makes uh, the fly ride a little bit different on the water. So I have a size 14 in the vise. I'll start my thread and actually what I'll do I'll start my thread where I want to start my thorax later on so it's a little guide for me start my tying thread there we go and advance to the back So the first thing we're going to use is a CDC feather, it's of course in a cinnamon color and the very best ones I've found for this, which has the nicest color as well, is the Trout Line Ultra Select CDC. So I'll just make two loose wraps. With a little, there we go. Tie it down into the bend a little, fence to the front. Okay, and then I'll take my heckle pliers, give it just a little spin. These feathers are quite delicate, okay? The stems are thin. But the good thing about this is that it flows much, much better than a CDC feather with a really thick stem. Those are nice uh, if you tie like little streamers and wet flies, but not for dry flies, okay? So I'm using only one feather, and if you uh, would tie this in a bigger size, let's say, uh, 12 or maybe even a size 10 it would be better to use two feathers for the body, okay? Just advance to the front. Put this back. There we go. One more. Tie this off. Two, three wraps. Pull it back and then just one wrap in front of that. Secure it. Trim away the excess. Now you have to be careful because you'll have a little bit of stem sticking out here and because I've snipped it off with my scissors it can be quite sharp and you can actually uh, catch your tying thread on that and it'll break off. Okay. So we'll secure that little piece of stem. Now we have uh, some fibers on the top which is great just leave them on but I'll rotate the vise downwards and then just under the hook I'll cut away any CDC so this floats better okay there are just some really long ones, you can cut those off. Okay guys, so the next step what we'll do is uh, I'll take a Campbell CDC and a natural gray one and I'll 
put them on top of each other. I measure it. It's a little bit longer than the hook. Take two loose wraps, make sure everything is on top. And two a little bit tighter wraps. And now just check if doing what I wanted to do. If it's uh, on top, straight, yeah, that looks good. And when it looks good, tie it down. Okay, that's the wing. Trim away the excess. Now we have the, the body and the wing. Now for the uh, thorax, I'll be using a dubbing loop. Just create a little loop here. One, two times around. Tie it down. Go to the front with my tying thread. I'll put my uh, Dummy spinner in. And actually, because I'm working with hair, I'm gonna put some some hair, hair. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some hair in here, wild hair, and uh, some squirrel. It's good to use a little bit of dubbing wax so the hairs don't fall out. So first, I'll take my hair pelt. I'll select. Nice bunch of hairs. Let's, go. Let's see. Yeah, this looks good. I'll just rip them out with my fingers. I have a small bunch of hair. Take away the under fur. And I trim away all the, uh, the white fluff. I want to get that in. Okay. Put it in a loop. It's not much, okay? It's just a little bit. And then for the thorax, I'll be using a uh, squirrel. Okay. Get this out of here. And again, I'll just pull some hairs from the pelt. Cut them so they're straight. Open up my loop again. This is where the dubbing wax comes in, okay? Because the hairs won't fall out because of the wax. to spread this out just a little bit. Give it a spin. There we go. Oops. Okay. Give it a spin. I can create the uh, thorax. Putting quite a little bit of pressure on here. Secure the wing. There goes on the hair, which will create some longer legs. Then with the rest of the uh, squirrel, I'm brushing it back each turn I make. Oop. Sorry, hands are in the way. Brushing it back, creating a nice little thorax area. There we go. Tight 
buy that off. I'll brush back all the little guard hairs. Try and catch them with my thread. Create a nice little head on there. Now just take your whip finisher and finish the fly. Now this fly flows really, really well. And the fish love it and I think that it is important to use both hair and the uh, squirrel because the hair is a little bit longer and it actually gives the fly a really low flow profile on the water. Trim that away. Got some hair sticking out here on the bottom. Trim those away. The last thing we have to do is trim here on the bottom. Just with your scissors create a little V so that the fly will float low. And we're done. It's my favorite caddis pattern, the cinnamon caddis guys. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Check us out next time. Thanks for watching.